grand fixed cross between Jupiter and Taurus, Mars and Leo, these two fresh new energies coming in, the South Node in Scorpio, as well as the North Node in Taurus. These four components are all fixed signs, okay, Scorpio, and it's gonna include uh, Pluto and Aquarius, excuse me, so that's the last one. Now, um, this is a grand fixed cross, and so it's gonna make this in the wheel. There's a wheel, and it makes this actual symbol. This actually equates to two squares. So the square by itself would equate to a triangle, but then we're gonna flip the other side. So there's two different squares happening, okay? And this is very critical. This is important to understand in this breakdown. Um, so hit the thumbs up and the likes button early. This is your Astro Sham Pranel Bobby. We are generating an economy of harmony, leveraging human design and astrology. Shout out to our newest member. I woke up this morning and it was one that just pulled up and in. That actually has a little bit to do with the whole Mars and Leo energy. You talk tribe. All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna pull up what this grand cross looks like, okay? Um, <clears throat> Pluto and Aquarius represent gate 60. I've had some videos, shout out to Hannah. We did one, explained it very well within that. It's gate 60 in Gene Keys and Human Design. Really speaking about the laws, the limitations that we are facing, the red tape that says, you can't do this. Now, a lot of these structures are in the process of decaying, but while they do, here's what we must face. Um, gate 28, which is going to represent, in human design genetic gene keys, is gate 28 is open and active, and that's going to represent the south node in Scorpio. And so what this is kind of saying is, is, hey, look, there's a beast within you. There's a literal demon. Have you yet integrated that demon? And this is what Scorpios love to do. Now, this is the south node, and it's been here, and it's getting ready to leave out before the south node shifts into Libra. So before it leaves out, it's like, look, have you addressed this lackluster energy within you that just, you feel purposeless? Like you feel like, you know, what am I honestly really doing? Like I'm just feeling a very monotonous life, like lackluster, I, I lost the shyness, the shiny and the brightness in my eye. And this is just about, you know, no longer trying to slay your demon or cut cords with people, but, more so looking to you know embrace and integrate them into you integrate that beast of a person who may externally have been presented because you can internally do your work and this is how god is trying to help you and reveal it now that brings us more to what would be gate 56 or mars and leo in this particular instance and all these planets are at zero degrees except for the north node and south node they're at two degrees but we're applying so the pressure is building and so when i say the pressure is building a regular T-square in astrology would create a very tense moment when you have two opposing energies, in this instance, Pluto and Aquarius, Mars and Leo. Leo and Aquarius are opposite energies. And then the other two opposing energies, you have Jupiter and the South Node and Taurus, who are opposing the, uh, uh, the South Node and the North Node and Taurus, are opposing the South Node and Scorpio. And now these are the opposing energies, but they're hitting a um these two energies are familiar with themselves in a way but it's the squaring energy and let me pull it up so i understand exactly who is squaring who now we're squaring pluto and aquarius will be in opposition to mars and leo like i said but it will square okay taurus both both excuse me both It'll square Taurus and Jupiter and the, the, the North Node in Jupiter. Okay, so what is this relationship? What is a grand fixed cost, okay? Ultimately, and I brought an extra resource for me today. Ultimately, I love this book. Ultimately, this is going to require us to really, really stay still and enjoy the low frequencies that we experience. There's going to be a tremendous amount of distraction that's going to happen now this distraction will be external and this is more speaking from the place in the shadow of leo's energy who can get distracted by the external world and distracted in performance distracted in praise or there's this other side of leo which more works into this piscean energy or the fact that it's exalted in neptune and this distraction is more of an internal it's like going so deep on your own internal world that you create a fantasy reality. This is definitely me as a, a INFP, if anybody knows Myers and Briggs. Creating an, an, an internal fantasy where anything that's happening within my own world, I'm safe. 
you know, I'm, uh, I, I, I can be the actor of my own story and whatever I say goes. And what can happen is that does not mean that the external world doesn't have actual limits and that things are not happening and that structures are not, you know, binding. All of this stuff is in this transformation process, okay? So as we do this, um, we're working to these intoxicated forms of what self-discipline can provide. And so what I'm saying is, is um, right now, this grand fixed cross between all those energies has a lot to do with food and more importantly, our, uh, our pleasures, our, our sensual pleasures, whatever they are, especially through our five senses. Our five senses in like Chinese culture was actually considered the five thieves because it's like, look, you can escape energy leaks out of your sense of smell. Mm, mm, I smell that fresh warm pie or, oh my God, I can, I can hear, you know, cops and sirens, like what's going on? And this would be that external distraction that I was kind of talking about. Instead, when we focus and we align with Mars and Leo energy at the frequency of um, enrichment, it's like, look, you begin to enrich yourself with the discipline to say, look, it's not about not eating the chocolate cake. It's about saying today, this chocolate cake will not enrich my soul, but tomorrow it will. Okay. And so this is what the self-discipline is all about until we get to the point where we no longer need to discipline ourselves, where we can actually enjoy life and have fun and laugh and inspire others by the times that we actually did discipline ourselves and how now we can just flow and live deep within our heart. Um, and so this is a lot of this energy where it's, it's, it's going to, because it's a grand fixed cross, okay, ultimately this equates to, as I'm saying all this, it sounds great, but you're really going to have to sit still. You're not going to really be able to move. You're going to feel really restricted. So here, here what we have, <clears throat> a grand fixed cross in fixed energy is more centripetal, okay? Meaning fixed grand cross holds a great deal of internal tension, which tends to explode with great force under extreme pressure. Now, this is what ultimately is happening. And what you may find is um, there's an internal paradox that to resolve these four squares that are happening, because it's going to be four squares and two oppositions, to resolve the energy of this, there's a continual task setting Okay, um, there's a challenge that's consistent and there's a certain expenditure of energy in the process of trying to achieve this resolution, okay, to the internal conflicts. And so what I'm telling you the internal conflicts are right now are being overly indulgent and where do we overindulge with that Jupiter and um, Taurus? Where do we overindulge and how do we get distracted and externalize our energy or internalize it so deeply that we ignore that there's a world out there and the Taurus energy here in Jupiter actually speaks a lot about selfishness now you would consider that this is coming from Leo but it's not it's coming from Taurus the stubborn bull who selfishly will attain what it needs and say F the rest of the world this is not going to work for this grand cross energy because it's asking us to love deeply um, to love you know it, without constraints, like to love without possession, but to love yourself and pour love into yourself at such a super abundant level that you attract and pour, others want to pour into you because you pour so much love into yourself that others are inspired by, well, what is this guy or what is this girl doing that makes them shine so bright? And what happens if we don't work with yourself in the Scorpio and we don't do and actually integrate and dance and love and play with our demons and instead try to kill them off, what will happen is you won't begin to recognize other people who have done a sincere level of shadow work where they've integrated that shadow energy within them and they're no longer walking around aimless and mindlessly without a purpose and instead they're getting into these frequency where you know totality exists and totality says there's a light and a dark element and what's beautiful during this grand cross energy is gemini's sun will be able to help us to consciously collect the data and the information which is what gemini does and look very objectively at the fact of look this angel this demon, this demon, this angel, wait a minute, this demon is the angel within me. And as I embrace the demon, I realize that this is the angel. And 
that duality eventually will completely be superseded at, at, but we're not fully there as a, a, a karmic collective consciousness yet but we will get there where polarities like this will go out the way it currently is only here and we're going to understand this during gemini season in order for us to better be able to learn and understand that we didn't need to learn any of this in the first place that we could have just felt into our heart the frequency of what it means to explode super abundantly hit the thumbs up and the likes button if you resonated and you rocked with any parts of that message so far ask questions down in the chat um you know, join the membership. Like I said, we had one join earlier today. Hit the thumbs up. Um, you're going to see a lot of people who um, who are not doing the shadow. Like if you have a tribe who are not doing a certain shadow work, whether they're going internally within their fantasies or externally, you know, creating a mirage of like, hey, my life is so amazing, beautiful, great, and there are no internal conflicts. What's going to happen is those who are doing the shadow work, they're not going to resonate at the same frequency and you're not going to be able to hear them and they're not going to be able to hear you. And so there will be a lot of shifts and transformations within the tribes and what our ideas that we have are going to be required to meet a certain structure. OK, because without the structure, it's like we're not going to be able to maintain this tragedy and comedy that is going to simultaneously be active one 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 on screen as i say so hit the thumbs up again um a, a lot of transitions happening but before this goes down you're going to feel stuck there's going to be a lot of internal pressure and i feel there will be a lot less internal pressure depending on how much dornish scorpio um south node especially since that eclipse is coming really pushed a lot of doo-doo out okay whether you had to purge or constipated you whether you need to refrain your impulses during all this cancer energy that we have just left which is a lot about containment and restraining certain feelings certain impulses so that we can allow that energy to now work into these fixed energies this grand fixed cross okay this grand cross energy this fixed energy that can energize and perpetuate okay like a centrifuge and ultimately charge a dream a mission that requires us to you know say self-discipline matters because if i discipline myself this is an act of love and as i love myself others will see me shine through so this is your astro sound pranel bobby asking you to hit the thumbs up and the likes button we are generating an economy join the squad we meet may 21st coming up next i'm really loving the changes to developments okay uh, there's been a tremendous amount there's been a tremendous amount so for now you know embrace the tension don't run from it it's it's really going to hurt you tremendously I, I i promise you and if you don't run from it you embrace that totality you're going to get to a place of altruism you're going to get into a place of selflessness at the way where you can give to another and it doesn't feel like you're losing anything from yourself because when you give to another from the heart space the universe backs you and then you you'll move from this place of totality of integrating your shadow your light all of that to you know feeling this sense of immortality and this sense of immortality comes when we step from a place of the mental constructs and outside the mental body back into the heart and from that heart space we now realize that time doesn't exist and we step into this timelessness and now you feel immortal and now others recognize you as immortal and everything you do the amount of life and vigor and excitement and play that you express while mars is in leo it's like oh my god you will be a force to be reckoned with. People will become absolutely, completely intoxicated by how you have enriched yourself. And this is the true beauty of Leo. It's intoxication. It's intoxication. So, like I said, hit the thumbs up and the likes button. Definitely hit that subscription if you vibe and you, rec uh, you, you really you really vibe with this message and you, you, you wanna support the channel. Send it to somebody. Thumbs up. I'll see you soon.